Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants? I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. What's up, y'all? Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. <laughs> Got another great video for you guys today. As usual, man, you guys know the deal on this channel, guys. And once again, we must continue to set the record straight. We must continue to stop the lies, stop the narratives. That's what it's about in this channel. You guys understand that. You guys know the deal, man. And in this video, we're going to talk about how LeBron James, once again, has zero fouls called against him in 34 minutes of action. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. LeBron James was back from his week-long break that he took, right? His, his load-managing break. He comes back against the lowly San Antonio Spurs last night, and the Lakers get, barely get the win. And LeBron James, once again, I think this was his 14th, I want to say his 15th game, I think, this season, guys, that he has zero fouls in. Over 34 minutes, a man played 34 minutes, Zero fouls called against LeBron James. Once again, LeBron James can do whatever he wants on the basketball court. We're going to talk about it in this, in this video, guys. And I want to thank you guys, man. Everyone across the world, everyone across the states has been supporting my channel, man. Shout out to everybody in England, everybody out there in, uh, in Canada, everybody out there in the Philippines, uh, Germany. These like the You guys have always been the top countries on my analytics, man. So shout out to all you guys out there, man, for real. You know, for real, guys, much respect. Everyone across the world, all you guys, man, everyone across the states, you guys know the deal, man. I'm truly humbled by the support, guys. Shout out to everybody in the membership, man. The membership has been, it's been growing. Uh, so, like I said, I'm truly humble, guys. Truly, truly humble, man. Shout out to everybody out there, man, for real. It means a lot. And you guys know what to do. Turn the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes. And let's roll. So, yes, guys, like I said, LeBron James was back from his week-long break. You guys remember he load-managed going into the All-Star break. Then he load-managed in the All-Star game. And then he load-managed the game before last, right, against the Golden State Warriors, right? He load just, just three consecutive load-managing. I mean, the man can, his load-managed more consecutive times than the Lakers have won games. It's insane to me, Right? And LeBron James is back last night. Of course, he would come back against the San Antonio Spurs, who have won, what, 11 games? They, they have 11 wins on the season. And this is no disrespect to their team. They're, they're a young team, right? They're, they're going through a rebuild and things of that nature. But this is where we saw, what we saw about the other day. This is where LeBron James exposes himself, right? As ducking the smoke from a Golden State Warriors team, right? And then he plays against the San Antonio Spurs. And when we watch the game... What, what do we see during the game? We see LeBron James, once again, the guy who they keep telling us is a pass-first player, once again leads the Lakers in shot attempts. He goes out there and shoots 22 times to score his 30 points because we know he's, he's load-managed for this. He, he waited all week for this. He waited all week to come, to come back against the lowly Spurs so he could come out there and, I told you, come out there and get his stats. I called this, guys, in my video. Go back and I said it. LeBron will come out here and score 30 against the Spurs, right? When they didn't need him against the Spurs. They needed him against the Warriors. He had no energy for Steph Curry, though. No energy for the Warriors. But he comes out there and stat pads his way for 30 points, right? And the Lakers get the win over the lowly Spurs last night. But more importantly, guys, what also do I always tell you guys in this channel? LeBron James never hustles on defense, right? We've talked about this. We've talked about LeBron James being helped by the officiating for years now, his entire career, right? And I've, and I've been highlighting this season particularly to show you guys the evidence right in front of you. How many games so far this season LeBron James has played in and has zero fouls? Over 30 minutes in these games, zero fouls. Zero fouls called against him. But when you watch the games, LeBron James is clearly having offensive fouls, not being called. He's clearly pushing guys for rebounds, Right? Elbowing guys out of the way, giving them four arms up and down the court. No fouls called against LeBron James. But what is LeBron James doing? He's out there flopping around and not giving the effort on defense. And once again, last night's more of the same. Like I said, I believe this is the 14th or the 15th game this season that LeBron James has had zero fouls in. Zero, guys. Not one, zero. And most of the other games he's played in, he's only had one. I've told you guys, LeBron James has five, six, seven seasons in his career where he never even had more than four fouls in a game. Never even had four, more than four fouls for seasons long, right? The man's never had more than 200 fouls in a season. Never had more than, than 200 fouls in a season, guys. 
Think about it. Go compare to other players. It's crazy. That man averages one point, what, seven fouls a game for his career? It's laughable. It's laughable, guys. And once again, last night, LeBron James out there. No fouls called against him. And 34 minutes of action. Exposing LeBron James and not giving any effort on the defensive end. No effort. And exposing the referees. Now, we don't need to mention the free throws because I don't believe there was a free throw disparity last night. But once again, guys, I told you, the free throw disparity is not important in the grand scheme of everything going on as far as it pertains to the, the Lakers and the San Antonio Spurs. They don't need help to beat the Spurs. That's the whole point here. The Lakers could have beat the Spurs without LeBron James, and they probably would have done so more efficiently. But last night they had a, you know, coast to a, a, a win, right, that they really shouldn't have even been that close. But I've told you guys, the Lakers are actually more efficient and a better overall team with LeBron James. As far without LeBron James, without everyone getting involved, once again, like I tell you, look at LeBron James last night, comes back and shoots 22 times, right, to get his points against a team that they probably would have beat by 15, 20 points had he played differently or had he not been there. This is the LeBron James effect, not maximizing Anthony Davis, not maximizing any of these players. LeBron James has what? Six, seven rebounds, one offensive rebound. He has the same amount of offensive rebounds as Austin Reeves out there, guys. Same amount of offensive rebounds as Austin Reeves. But LeBron James is one of the biggest players on the court, if not the biggest player on the court most nights. Right? You guys, it's crazy when you think about this. Right? These are the facts. No fouls. Right? No fouls, guys. Once again, you guys know the deal, man. This is what I'm always alluding to on this channel, guys. LeBron James' lack of hustle. LeBron James, like I said, always being helped by the referees, being covered up. They cover up his mistakes, his help. They help him out. So he can just play, like I said, play the way he wants to play. Just barrel into guys. Do whatever he wants to do out there. Physically move people. Create the space. All of this nonsense. No fouls being called. So they can't be physical on LeBron James, but LeBron James can be physical with everyone else. You see what I'm saying, guys? It's not a two-way street for LeBron James. Everyone's at a disadvantage when they're going against this man. This is why he'll just play that same style, barreling into guys. No fouls called. Are we supposed to be impressed once again with the Lakers beating the Spurs? I'm not impressed. Let me know when they win six, seven, eight games in a row. Let me know when they do. Hell, even the Dallas Mavericks have won seven games in a row now. The Dallas Mavericks. And, and Kyrie Irving's in and out of the lineup every, every game. They've somehow managed to win seven games in a row, though. Not the Lakers, though. Because once again, LeBron James is load managing on them against the Warriors. That could be back-to-back -back wins right there. But LeBron James didn't show up. Comes out step pads against the Spurs. This man is, a, is embarrassing, guys. I'm telling you, man, this is embarrassment. This man should be ashamed of himself. Ducking the Warriors and then coming out there and, and chucking up 22 shots against the Spurs. No fouls called against LeBron James. No fouls. The man can just do whatever he wants. Every single 14, 15 games with no fouls called against you. But you're supposed to be this physical, tough guy. The man is a forward. Right? This is what I'm saying. Look at LeBron James' numbers, guys. It's all smoke screens. He'll get these rebounds, right? LeBron James will have a game. He'll have 11 rebounds, 9, 10 rebounds, zero offensive rebounds, or one offensive rebound. That's literally what he'll get. That's it. That's it. Not hustling anywhere. I told you, it took LeBron James, like, uh, hundreds of games to pass Michael Jordan in offensive rebounds. He literally just passed him like two seasons ago. It might have even been last season. In offensive rebounds, a six foot six shooting guard. This goes to LeBron James' lack of hustle. These are things I'm alluding to you guys on this channel. This man is not hustle. He gives no effort. It's not consistent. It's not there. The hustle stats. This is why I don't lead the league in steals. This is why he doesn't do these things. This is why. He's not hustling out there on the defensive end consistently. That's why he hasn't made an all-defensive team in, in damn near 10 years. Right? He hasn't won an MVP in his 30s. But they keep telling us how great he's been playing. Their longevity. 
But where are the results on the video footage? Where, where's it showing up? No all defensive teams, no MVPs, a bubble title, flopping compilations, load managing guidelines for your era, playing tournaments that he himself didn't even want that he's actually benefited from. This is the hypocrisy of LeBron James. Remember when they talked about the playing tournament? Oh, whoever came out with this, this is the stupidest idea I've ever heard. It's dumb. How many times has LeBron James' team benefited from playing? At least, I want to say two, three times. It's laughable. Zero fouls called against this man last night. Against the lowly Spurs, you choose to come back and shoot 22 shots after you load managed against your team on the front end of a back-to-back. All your teammates play back-to-backs. Play the back-to-back. But LeBron James didn't. Think about the Spurs. All those players, the Spurs, they were on a back-to-back. LeBron James came out there a week fresh. Took a week off. Came out there fresh. To to put up 22 shots against Wimbenyama and the 11-win Spurs. Not impressed. Once again, LeBron James, once again, all he does is expose himself like I said, not being a true competitor. If you were a true competitor, you would have played the back-to-backs and you damn sure would have showed up against Steph Curry. Like I said, a team who's right behind you in the standings. We didn't show for them. You had no energy for Steph Curry. You took a week off. You played 14 minutes in a laughable all-star game where no one ran. No one ran. No one broke a sweat. Did you see anybody sweating out there? No, I told you. My son's first grade team. First graders. They gave more effort than that all-star game. Carl Anthony Towns, Damian Lillard, a bunch of clowns out there, man. That was LeBron James, 14 minutes of that in a week. But he couldn't show up for a back-to-back. But once again, I tell you guys on his channel, they keep telling us he spends millions on his body. He's the healthiest he's been in years coming into the season, right? He's in his great shape. This is what they keep telling us. This is what LeBron James tells us. Don't show up in the video footage, though. It's not there. And once again, guys, last night, LeBron James coasted in there, having the fresh legs, right? He went and got some treatment, came out there after having a week off. Everyone else played back-to-backs. Everyone in the Lakers, everyone in the Spurs on a back-to-back. Not LeBron James. And then he comes out there and chucks up some shots. This is what he does. You guys know the deal, man. Once again, guys, LeBron James exposed himself. No giving, no effort on the defensive end. Being helped by the referee. Zero fouls in 34 minutes in a full game. The 14th, I believe the 14th or 15th time, guys, it's happened this season that LeBron James has had zero fouls in a game. Zero. It's insane, guys. You know the deal, man. I'll catch you guys on the next one.